Hey guys, before tonight's conspiracy theory video with Gary, uh, it's a doozy by the way, uh, it should make you think a little bit, but I want to give a special thanks to a young 21 year old named Daniel up in the Toronto, Canada area. At one time he was contemplating on doing steroids. Now he stumbled across one of my videos, uh, I guess it was the steroid one, and he saw what damage steroids can do to people. I was not a mild user. I was a abuser because I wanted to be something I was not. I was thin, couldn't gain a lot of muscle mass on my six foot four body. That's the way it was. And I wanted to cheat, cheat myself and I wanted to get really big. Supplements wasn't doing it, so steroids did. But because of steroids, I have massive health issues, I had a heart attack, and I still, to this day, after 20 years, have health problems. Now, after him watching some of my videos, he decided to reach out to me and say, thanks for the video. It motivated him not to do steroids. If that's all it takes is me showing my videos to stop one person, I did my job. And I want to thank you very much for reaching out to me. He asked for a t-shirt because I do make Ball of Donald's t-shirts. I mailed that out today, buddy. I got you a t-shirt. It was mailed out. He should have it hopefully in about a week. Um, I did a video about another Canadian named Paul. He got his t-shirt yesterday. He texted me today and said that he got his t-shirt. So... You should be getting your t-shirt within about a week, Daniel. All right, so thank you so much. And I also want to thank Lewis. Lewis, um, he likes the conspiracy theories. He gets in there and uh, he chimes in and gives his, out his comments and I reply back to him. He seems like a really nice guy. So Lewis, I want to give you a little shout out as well. So watch tonight's video with Gary. Thank you, everybody. Hello everybody, it's Mike the Baldonis, and today is Thursday, which means it's Conspiracy Theories Thursday. With Gary from the gym. <laughs> Boom! How you doing? What's happening, buddy? Hey Mike, how you doing? Good, thanks. I wanted to do today about mnemonics. I happened to see last week's show, you started in the very beginning and you showed a uh, what looked like a world or a planet and, and, and circles going fast around it. And that would be your mnemonics. And uh, I thought it would be an interesting topic to, to talk about today because we all watch television. And um, so here's what the mnemonics would be. Uh, if you want to affect a change in a lot of people, you need a common source or a common denominator, and that would be the television. Uh, the television mnemonics, which are being used to influence the viewer's mind and brain. It's used in movies, on the internet, in video games, and everywhere where you find mass media. Now, um, what this is, is the, the mnemonics is flashy lights, bright circles, uh, X's, triangles, flashy squares, a hypnotic countdown or hypnotic count up. Uh, it, they have light, a lot of light. You'll see a lot of bright light flashing, a lot of flashing light. And your conscious doesn't pick it up. Your conscious mind, you know, what you're, you and I are seeing and feeling and conscious. But the subconscious, we have a subconscious, and the subconscious somehow is able to pick up or adapt or see the detailed 
flashes, the detailed symbology, the detailed uh, sigils in the outer rings. And this is all ancient, <laughs> ancient uh, works, uh, stuff that's been done in the King Solomon's time. Uh, we have magic pentacles of King Solomon. We have the lesser king of King Solomon. Uh, this is all uh, years and years of tested uh, theol uh, theology. I, well, I don't know if it's theology, but <laughs> you're going to have to cut that part out. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you'll see a lot of this on uh, your sports channel. I found the sports channel will be heavily into this uh, mnemonics. Uh, you got football games. So besides all the little circles like right. for example like you said espn right we use it what, espn what would would it look like is this just the espn word no no it would be the uh all kinds of shapes circles everything's moving a lot of moving parts a lot of flash and then they have detailed uh detailed little um symbols and these symbols go back to ancient time and, and they can be demonic. And uh, they have, these symbols have a power to them. And the more, and the people who uh, portray this on, or, or put this on our TV programs or our shows, uh, feel as though this has a power. And this power, if people perceive it or, or subliminally see it, it actually brings out the power. <laughs> Honestly. So, this is why I bring it up. It's just something you can look into and you can, uh, if you're interested, study it a little bit. I, I'm only bringing it up because I saw it in the beginning of your show last week, but it's also proliferates in our everyday uh, enjoying of watching the tube. Uh, you'll see it in commercials, all your news channels, Fox, CNN, uh, it's in the movies, ABC, NBC, CBS, even the Weather Channel. And if you learn what these mnemonics are, you'll see that even the Weather Channel uses them in the, uh, in the uh, talk for tornadoes. It's always spinning. There's always just, it just doesn't look uh, perfect, but yet subliminally your subconscious picks it up. Uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. Uh, Harmonics are, are present also with these symbols or sounds. Harmonics would be a sound and they time it right with beats and it's just about bringing your, uh, uh, your certain areas of the brain would respond to this. Taking your beta state consciousness into a, uh, the alpha state consciousness and then through the alpha state consciousness they can uh, in, in, induce emotions and 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 fear and 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 just steer your your emotions in in certain ways uh, the common form of trance induction is to repeatedly bring the individual in and out of a hypnotic state to induce a very deep the deepest trance uh, you noticed uh, spinning circles and half circles. You remember in real time these images are moving so fast that your conscious mind cannot take all the information in. This is the key to the hypnotic trance. Uh, mnemonics tells a story and a thought hypothesis. Uh, it's very detailed, moving very fast and in milliseconds. So, you, so you, you, you can't see things fast in your conscious but your subconscious can pick it up believe it or not and uh, you know I just uh, mnemonic circles are the strongest forms of mass mind control of the mass media all over the world and the strongest hold on the consciousness of people who want the who watch the television so it's like think of it as like this people complaining at Facebook or uh, what's the other uh, Google these companies own that product and we're using it. The television station owns, they own themselves and we're just using it. So technically they, they show us what they want to show us. They don't owe, we don't owe, they don't owe us anything because we're using their media or their medium. So I just wanted to illustrate that it's not like a right on our part to say, no, you can't do it. 
You know what I'm trying to say? It's the same way. You can't complain about Facebook uh, curtailing information because technically you're using their product. Uh, so they have every right to use their product. So it's usually 60 frames a second or more. Your conscious mind is overwhelmed and your subconscious takes over. Like I said, their children under age of seven are in a hypnotic uh, state and they're the most vulnerable. They are programmed with what they will base their lives on. They use sound and light, another way to put you in a trance is to manipulate your brain waves by sound and light waves. Uh, brain waves of electrical messages back and forth in, in your neurons, in, in your brain. So um, the beta wave and the alpha wave, the beta wave is what we have conscious, you know, with, like me talking, I'm in the beta wave stage. And then when you're watching the television, relax and whatever, they, it changes to an alpha wave brain, you know, alpha wave. And that's the relaxed stage that you can be easily programmed to in, with induced information and triggers. Uh, Just like buying a Big Mac or something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where they can put a uh, sound in there to trigger you or... or just a bunch of hmm. flashes and what have you, but your subconscious picks it up. Um, so they have dark reality in a lot of this. If you take it, slow it down, you can see the, the sigils of, of ancient times. Uh, sigils, can, sigils can represent any intention or any type of energy, including energy of demons. This is an ancient magic that is still used today. Various forms of program include sigils and are used inside the mnemonic circles. So uh, if you doubt it, it's just amazing that they've put so much detail in these circles that you can barely see it real fast time. But there's, there's a reason why they do that. Uh, they just don't make all that detail for no reason. Uh, you can look up on the Lesser Key of Solemn Gita. Uh, Perceive reality of the mind stimulating specific spots of the brain through the viewing eye. The television is the easiest way to program and hypnotize the subconscious mind. Uh, so I just want to give you some proof or illustration of reality here. Um, there are patents for this stuff. I, there's a patent number 5330414. Sound and light frequency used to achieve, uh, achieve desired brain waves. There's a patent 5289438, alternating, altering the state of human consciousness through sound. Uh, to alter states of human consciousness involves multiple stimuli, preferable sounds having uh, different different frequencies and waveforms. There's a patent 47173433. Changing person's behavior through video pictures. Uh, frequencies in human emotions have been now measured and recorded and can be sent through television and radio transmissions. Brain waves based on fear and anger. So this stuff is scientifically proven and it's actually patented. So you can get results if you want them uh, through the you know, in order to have a patent, this, this, it's got to work. You know, you just can't make something up. So you, but anyway, so I'm just throwing that out there to you. Um, you got QR codes, spinning mnemonics, spinning circles, flashing lights, counting up and down, and sigils. Now, a QR code could be barcodes. Uh, for example, last year in the Super Bowl 2018 between the Patriots and the uh, Eagles, it seemed like like every other play or every two plays when they did the re uh, the replay of the you know them scoring a touchdown or a, a great catch, I saw a barcode. There was a barcode in there. Now through my research, barcodes had meant the 666. So I didn't understand. Yeah, I didn't understand why that barcode came up through the through, throughout the whole game. Now I've talked to other people that watched the game, and none of them saw it, but it always come up. Uh, and I'm gonna have Mike sh actually put put up a few in the uh, his video today, just so you can see where it's at. Um, but it did come up multiple times. It must come up at least 50 times in that game. 
uh, just a black barcode, something you'd see on a box or something, and I just couldn't figure it out. See, you had hundreds of millions of people watching that game, and that's the best way to catch everybody and to put them in these in these trances or, or get your subliminal mes message out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so what would a barcode be a message for? I don't know, it's just a barcode. It could be just uh, eventually, you know, they want to tag everybody with a barcode. Uh, to just subliminally get everybody uh, in the subconscious about barcodes. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. But I just thought it was odd. We're watching a football game here and, and the replays, they show a barcode. You know, it's a flash. It was like uh, less than a second. It was less than a second. And uh, a lot of people didn't even see it. In fact, uh, the people I was with watching the game, I actually saw it and I went backwards until I hit pause and showed the um, barcode and they were all like, huh? Open your eyes and see what they're really putting in your face. That's what this was Literally, about. Right? Literally. Right. So if that's the conspiracy, that's what it is. <laughs> all right, guys. So Gary with another conspiracy theory in what, next week? No. Yeah. All right. We're going to see him next week. Until the next video, everybody. Bald and hot out. <laughs>